Shalom gladness here. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, the Bible says, call upon me on the day of trouble. And I will answer you. It becomes so difficult when you feel it like I'm calling on you, God. I'm saying this to you. And then sometimes God seems silent. But the Lord says, call upon me and I will answer you. Somebody, you've been through a lot and you feel like you cannot take it anymore. And you're at the verge where you're telling the Lord, if this doesn't work, then I'm done. You're at the very choice you're telling God, if this doesn't work out for me, then I'm done. You know, I understand you because a lot of us have been through that particular situation and a lot of us are still in that particular situation where we tell ourselves, if God doesn't come true for me at this point in time, then I don't know what's going to happen to me anymore. You know, so many times we trust in God, we rely on God with all and every part of us, with everything, every like your last drop, like you trust in God against, I should say, against all odds. Like, Lord, I'm trusting you. If you don't do this for me, nobody else will be able to do this for me. And that is where you are right now. Number one, I want to tell you something. God will never let you to embarrass you. He will never leave you to suffer. He will never leave you to go through some kind of things. Number one, if he's not preparing you for something else. Number two, if he doesn't want to place you in a particular position. Somebody right now, this is your last try. You're telling yourself, if you do not come true for me at this point in time, I'm not going to be able anymore. You remember the story of Joseph? He was in a foreign land, no family. And people were also against Joseph. But you know what I learned from the story of Joseph? I personally learned that the Lord was preparing Joseph all this while. He was preparing him for the position he had to be placed in. Greatness is not for babies. And no weak person gets into authority. If you're a weak person, you can never get to authority. You can never be high. Now, I'll tell you a little story about myself. You know, before I came to Dubai, I noticed I was always home. I was always alone in the house. I stopped going to my business place. And then I like big space. I really love space. So I like it when my apartment is big. Not too big though. So depending on how I can afford. Okay. So I, what happened was I was always in the house. So my manager would always ask me, Mama, when she comes to my house, she'll ask me, Mama, Mama means, Mama means mother. So she'll say, Mama, what are you always doing in this big house all alone? You're always in the house all alone. This is a big house. You're always here. You don't even have visitors. You're from morning to night. You're in the house. You only wake up for prayers. Do prayers. Do your prophetic words. Do what you have to do. And all that. But you're home all day. You can still take out your car. Drive. Meet me at the shop. But I don't know what always happens to me. I was always in the house. Guess what happened? I later on understood what, what ha was happening to me. I lost. I lost taste for a lot of things then i lost taste for dresses i lost taste for a lot of things that i used to like i just wanted to be in the presence of god i just wanted to be alone the only thing i wanted to buy at that point in time was a car why because then my car was bad and it was at the garage so sometimes we bought our father a car so the car was at home while he was learning driving so but i told myself I, I was not used to a small car anymore. I wanted something big. So I wasn't comfortable using his car. Then I waited for a while, a long time, for my car to be fixed. But 
to no avail so at the verge of me buying a car that was when i was told i've been transferred to dubai and then when i came to dubai you know the first thing that i said to myself while i was still in cameroon was i said i'm not going to find it difficult in dubai and i said one of the reasons i will not find it difficult in dubai is because i'm used to being alone that's what i said to myself i said i'm not used to going out anyway so even if i'm in dubai and i don't know anybody i'm still going to be alone and let's see how ministry works out and tent out here that was the first thing i said to myself why because god had trained me in that manner that he has taught me to be alone he has taught me to just depend on him and rely on him now when i came here i could easily um was this adapt because those first times i was here i was always alone and even now i'm mostly alone i could easily adapt because i'd been used to that he was training me and it wasn't comfortable but there was a reason why am i saying this story somebody you've been in that position where god has been training you you've been through a lot in your life that you never knew you could become you never knew you could take it yet you're seeing yourself taking it the lord is training you for a particular position when you're so much in the haste to say god give me my breakthrough now give me my miracle now now let me tell you what's going to happen god might give you the breakthrough and you're halfway trained and once you're halfway trained honey you might lost the miracle you might lost the breakthrough no matter what you're praying for i always say that if i was married before i would have been divorced because i lacked tolerance before I could call myself a nagging person before before I could I could like I I could easily get angry and and stay angry but right now I can be angry and I don't stay angry you know I've learned a lot and guess what I was like that when I was still a pastor so it doesn't matter your position you can be a pastor but you've not worked on yourself personally you can go to church from january to december but you've not worked on yourself personally so you've worked out your relationship just with god but you've not worked out your relationship with yourself and with man somebody you're at your last try now the lord says he's preparing you he's preparing you for the later he's preparing you for a better end he's preparing you for victory the lord told me to tell you don't give up you will eventually succeed and you'll get there i pray for you let the lord protect you let the lord preserve your mind and give you strength to carry on in jesus name amen please do not forget to pray for me and please do not forget to share and subscribe if you have and i love you so much now may the lord bless you keep you cast his face to shine and you may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in the name of jesus i love you so much i do God bless you amazingly and abundantly. I love you. Shalom.